this stuff is the bee's knees. Like, the bee's freaking knees. Got it in my Ipsy and I'm obsessed with it. And then they satisfy my sweet tooth and then I can go on with my life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my favorites for you. My May favorites. Yes, May favorites. It's because we're still in May. I'm actually filming before the month ends. So this is my favorites. It is a lot fuller than it normally is because these are bigger products and it's also a lot of randoms. Yay, randoms! So this is going to be mostly like skincare and a little bit of randoms, so get ready. Let's do this. The Marc Anthony Volumizing Collagen Bamboo Shampoo and Conditioner. This stuff is amazing. I have flat hair. This is like second day hair, so it's like kind of flat. I put a little bit of dry shampoo in it. Nah, I just mess it up. Put a little bit of dry shampoo in it, but... This stuff is great. I actually, like, am pleasantly surprised. It said volumizing. I've purchased so many volumizing shampoos that really don't volumize at all. But kind of like the one that's in my shower right now. But I decided to purchase these. I got them at Ulta, and I really like them, and my hair felt amazing. It had body. I mean, it's also shorter, so it's not as heavy, but it still gives so much body. My hair feels healthy and it doesn't get as greasy as fast. So this one is supposed to plump, fill, and thicken thin, fine, flat hair, strengthen weak, dull, dry hair, and add shine. So there's no sulfate in this, and it's a biotin and silica infused. So if you guys know anything, biotin is really good for your hair, skin, and nails. It is the bomb. So then going on to face, I did go into Ulta to buy some skincare. I'm turning 25 in a few months, so I might as well start taking care of my skin now with the anti-aging process and sunscreen because I don't wear sunscreen and I should, but I don't. So I figured if I put it in my makeup routine, I'm more likely to use it than if I just had to apply just a straight sunscreen with everything. Just because I feel like I really don't like the feel of sunscreen. It's just been a thing that I don't wear as often because I just don't like the feel of it. Well, the lady talked me into this Murad. I was also looking for an eye cream. I have a little bit of texture right here under my eyes and it's not obvious when I have foundation on but as soon as I put concealer on, I mean all these, they're like tiny little bumps just on this inner corner. You'll see them. It's really obvious and I haven't been wearing concealer lately because of it because it's just awkward and I, I hate it. So the first one I got is the Murad Essential C eye cream. This has SPF. Let me show you the there you go. This has SPF 15. This is part of the Hydrate and Protect. And this is actually the first time I've used Murad and I love it. I'm going to do like a skincare video since I've been using other things. Not as long so they're not included in my monthly favorites because I've only had them for like a few days. But I know that they're going to be a favorite so I'll do like a whole separate skincare video and go more into detail with this. But I've really been liking this. This has SPF. I, apparently it's one of the few eye creams that has SPF in it. So I felt like it was a good deal and you only really need half a pump and it's going to last you a few months. So I really like it so far. And this, let's just talk about this for a second. This is the Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. This stuff is the bee's knees. Like, the bee's freaking knees. This <laughs> treats, blurs, protects, is an invisible sunscreen. You get no flashback. It works as a primer. It's got the blurring technology. Like, this is your best friend. This is everything you could ask for in one. It's a little bit pricier. I think it was like 65 or something like that. But seriously, worth every penny. I was kind of skeptical about it. She put it on my hand. I liked the way it felt. But when I took it home and actually started using it, I was like, this is amazing. So I'll, I don't want to waste a bunch, but for you guys, I'll show you. So it's just clear. That's what it looks like. It's just clear and it rubs in and it's super smooth. It's got kind of that silicone feel, but it sinks into your skin so you don't really have that like super silicone feel after. It's just a little bit while you're rubbing it in, but it has a blurring effect. Blurring effects, it's going to be really nice at like hiding your pores. It's invisible sunscreen, so it's going to be lightweight sunscreen. It's SPF 30, which is pretty good. But it's lightweight, it's not going to give you that flashback, it's not thick, it's not like your typical sunscreen. And between that and the eye cream, done. Done. 
and this makes your it mattifies your face so if you're an oily skin person it's gonna keep you matte all day long but if you are a dry person it is a little bit hydrating but I have on a, a normal kind of it gives you a little bit of a dewy finish and it didn't mess with it at all um, I didn't put any powder here so it just keeps the little oily parts matte but it still allows you to have a luminous look if you use a foundation that is luminous. So it really doesn't mess with your foundation. You can use it with or without makeup. It's just phenomenal. And I know I've mentioned this before, but this is the YSL Fusion Ink. I've been using this a lot lately. It is my color. It's I've really been into the look lately of light coverage. I never used to be into that, but I think with the skincare stuff that I've been using, I've really been liking my skin lately, and I don't mind a few like imperfections because I've been really happy with the way my skin looks. So, I've been using this and it gives me like a light to medium coverage and even if some spots kind of still show through or it's not as dark, I don't mind because it still gives you that flawless looking face, but it just gives you a natural flawless looking face. Like if you look caked on and you look plastic and you look like you have nothing, then you know, that's the look. But this gives you like a natural looking finish, but pretty at the same time. I hope that explains it really, but it's lightweight, it's good for summer too. And then my last beauty one, because it like slid under all my other stuff, this is the Cella Beauty Brow Pencil. You did see this one, we got it in my Ipsy and I'm obsessed with it. Like, uh, oh no, this is all I have left. That's it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get a new one. This was amazing. And it's the tantalizing taupe, and it just, this is what I have on my brows today. This is what I've been wearing my brows the last, like, ever since I got it in my Ipsy. It's just a really good color. It glides on really nicely. There's just no spoolie, which is a bummer, but it's not a huge bother to me because the spoolie gets dirty anyways if you throw it in your bag. So I like that this one is not going to get dirty regardless. Um, but I really like the formula and the color. So I know these are like $18, which is more than the NYX, but not quite as much as the Anastasia. So if you're looking for like an in-between if you didn't really like the NYX or the e.l.f. one, so you know e.l.f. has $2 ones, but if you're not a fan of those, then definitely try this one. This is the Cella Beauty Tantal Ooh, Tantalizing Brow Pencil. So then my first two randoms I want to talk about are subscription services. I don't have a lot. I mean, not like some people, but I have a few. And I purchased two new ones this month, and I was going to do an unboxing. I felt like some of the stuff is just kind of weird to unbox. I don't know. So the first one is Nature Box. I got the free trials. I just figured I like to snack because I have really long days and I feel like I just want no-brainer snacks that are really healthy for me that I really don't have to think about. And these are perfect because I'll just separate them into little baggies and I'll have the perfect like portion size. Just take it with me in my lunch to go and I'll eat that. I wanted to try this one and this is the Dark Cocoa Almonds. I really like them. I've already... I've had this box for a few weeks, so I've already had my other like samples as I'm taking out some right now as I'm talking to you. Mmm, so good. Oh god. These dark chocolate almonds are perfect if you have like a chocolate craving. Literally, I'll just take out like two at a time. Two or three. And then they satisfy my sweet tooth, and then I can go on with my life. The other subscription service that I subscribe to is called, I want to say it's called Boutique. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I will I will list it below. I, I think it's boutique. But anyways, it's a there's two subscription services with this company. The BB bag is seven full-size luxury products. These are all face masks. So the other subscription, which is what I'm subscribed to, is the Mask Maven, and you get nine to eleven masks every month, and they range from like hair masks to face masks to rub off mat or wash off masks to hand masks and they're really cool I mean unfortunately some of these or most of these are all in another language so luckily except for one so far they've all had like English instructions but I mean the face masks are pretty self-explanatory they're all pretty much 15 to 20 minutes put it on your face and then like massage whatever from the mask onto your face and then leave it at that. But I am just going to do it on a blog post because I feel like it's weird every month to just be like, so I got this mask and I got this one and this one and then you never see it again. So I'm just going to, I've been taking pictures of the packaging and of me wearing the face mask, which is scary, but I want to see show you guys how it fits. 
and then what I think about it afterwards and it's just going to be all in one blog, blog post every month and then links to where you can purchase them if you want to purchase the masks individually which you can too. So I'd rather do that than like scare entire YouTube with me wearing these masks because they're just weird. And I just want to show you my last favorite which is a clothing item and it is this shirt here and this is from Express and <laughs> It's really cute. It's really simple. It has just this little um, rolled sleeve right here. It's two different fabrics. It's got like the shiny. It just has a little bit of a zipper. And then the end is just kind of rounded on the bottom. And it's plain on the back. Nothing special. I love this shirt because it's a super amazing fit. It is tapered. You can see right here on the side. So it's tapered on the inside. So it's going to give you a nice slim figure without being tight. So it's that perfect, and it's simple, so it could be dressy. You could wear it with jeans, kind of casual it down with some sneakers. You can obviously wear it with some heels and rocket girl. You can just wear it with everything, and I love it so much, and I've been so obsessed with it. It's one of those shirts that I'm like, oh, we're going to go to dinner? I'll just throw on a shirt. And I know it's going to fit, and I know it's going to make me look good, and it's not going to be too tight, or too short, or too long, or whatever. I know it's just going to be a perfect fit every time. I love it so much, I bought all of the colors. I know, I've never done this with a shirt. I've never been like, I like that shirt so much, I'm going to buy it in every color. Except for the Target t-shirts. Holla, Target t-shirts, because they're amazing. And they're cheap. So, I think you've seen me wear these in a few videos. But I just love them so much and I will link it down below because I got it pretty recently so it should still be at the store. I got it maybe about a month ago or a few weeks ago. So it should still be at the store if you need that like perfect go-to, like it's going to look good, whatever. It's not too short, it actually covers your butt a little bit in the back so if you want to wear it with leggings it's perfect. So that is everything for my monthly favorites for May. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry there weren't a lot of beauty favorites but I hope you enjoyed the skincare and then a little bit of my randoms and my like sort of mini unboxing subscriptions. I don't know. I don't really know what this was. This is like a mumbo jumbo of favorites, but I hope you guys liked it. So subscribe if you haven't already because I have a lot of new videos coming soon that are in the works and that I'm filming today. So if you don't want to miss anything else that I'm filming today, then hit that subscribe button somewhere, wherever it is around this. Um, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day, week, month, year, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye.